Recording. Cool. Hey, everybody. It's Mr. P here coming to you live with a lesson about this thing, the recorder. You might have found one in your bag at Birch Grove the other day. We're going to take our first lesson on the recorder today. First of all, a recorder is a woodwind instrument, kind of like the flute or the clarinet. Kind of looks like a clarinet. If you held it sideways, it would kind of look like a flute. And it's part of a family of instruments. Think about the string family. You got the big old bass, you got the cello, and then the viola and the violin, and they each make a different sound. Kind of like boom whackers, right? The big ones make a lower sound, and the little ones make a higher sound. Just like a big old bass makes a big or a lot lower sound than a violin. So the instrument you got is a soprano recorder. It's the smallest of the recorder family and also the highest. I also have another one here called the alto recorder. It's a little bit larger. So you know, it sound is gonna be a little bit lower. And I also have a tenor recorder which is a little bit bigger than that and of course being a little bit bigger it sound is a little bit lower and you probably think that's pretty big this one ain't even gonna fit on the screen there we go i'll have to turn it kind of sideways there we go this is a bass recorder. It is huge, and you got to blow through this little hole on the back. Got to find where my fingers go first. It's really cool, and as you can see, it's kind of got keys on it, a little like a flute or a clarinet does. So that is a family of recorders. So guys, let's jump right in. Give me one second. I'm gonna put up our recorder, rockin' recorder slideshow. There we go, cool. Hopefully you can see our slideshow here. And uh, I'll be moving around your screen every once in a while. So let's do this, huh? So as you guys know that I love uh, two things in the world, music and video games. So Every once in a while, we might uh, throw a little Legend of Zelda in here. For example, uh, in the Legend of Zelda, there is the Triforce, which is a cool symbol and a big thing in the Legend of Zelda video game series. And it's kind of a triangle, you know, it's got three corners, kind of like our three rules about instruments. Whenever we have an instrument in our hand, whether we're in music class or sitting on your own couch, we want to make sure we follow our three rules. First of all, play when it's time, rest when it's time. Yes, there's a time to play and there's a time to rest. Probably when your little brother is napping, is not a good time to play, right? When your mom says, I have a headache, not a good time to practice your recorder. Number two, take care of our stuff. It's really cool that we got to take these home. So make sure that we take care of them. They don't belong to you, they don't belong to me, they belong to the school. And when we come back to school, you got to bring them back and we'll do some cool stuff with them then. And of course, rule number three, don't just make sound, make music. And it's going to be taking a little bit of practice because if you haven't noticed, these things sound horrible if you play them the wrong way, right? We'll figure that out. That might take a little bit of practice. All right, let's unbox our recorder, shall we? You've seen those videos on YouTube where people open up stuff. Why? I want to open it up myself. Anyways, so in your bag from Birch Grove, you should have found a recorder. Yours probably looks like this, only yours probably looks more discolored, but kind of the light colored and the dark colored. Sorry, the cat is not included with your recorder. You should have also had a fingering chart. Now I'm going to teach you how to play a couple different notes like B and A today, but if you want to do some more work, your fingering chart is there to help you out with those notes. You should have gotten a piece of paper that kind of shows you how to hold the recorder. 
and which fingers go where on the recorder. It almost looks like keyboard karate in a way. And you should have gotten a piece of paper that says tips for holding and playing the recorder. Well, let's take a little closer look at tips on holding and playing the recorder. So holding the recorder, this is not how you want to do it, whether you have a horse or not. Step one, place the recorder in your mouth between your lips. I bet you didn't even know that. Of course you knew that. Well, how else would you do it? I'm going to make myself just a little bit bigger here. So I can, there we go. So you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Place the recorder in your mouth between your lips. Don't bite it. You don't need your teeth. In fact, if you're an old grandpa and all your teeth fell out, you can still play the recorder. Don't put too much of the mouthpiece in your mouth. Don't eat it. I'll <laughs> Make sure your lips stay firm around the mouthpiece. That's nice. And your recorder should slant down and out. So if I turn to the side, you wouldn't want your recorder sticking up like this. You wouldn't want your recorder going straight down because you, you don't want it going out to the side. You want it kind of going downhill, kind of like you're a little ant sliding down your recorder here. Like, Your left hand goes on the top. I know it's kind of weird because I'm right-handed. I'm used to doing things with my right hand, but your left hand goes on the top of the recorder. Your right hand is gonna not do a whole lot right now. Once you get better and learn a lot of notes, your right hand's gonna help out, but your right hand right now, you just kind of chill out at the bottom. Make sure it's not covering up any holes because it might mess it up. There is a hole on the back of your recorder. There it is right there. That hole usually gets covered up with your thumb. Which thumb? Your left thumb, because your left hand goes on top. Cover the back hole with your thumb and the top hole. Doo -doo -doo, there it is. The top hole with your pointer finger. So right now you should have your thumb covering the back hole and your pointer finger covering the front hole. This is called B. We'll talk about pitches in just a second. But and, but you want to make sure to cover the holes completely because leaks cause squeaks. Here's what I mean. If you cover the holes completely and you blow nice and gently, you get a nice sound. But even if there's a tiny bit of air sneaking out, it'll change the sound completely and it'll cause that squeaking noise that nobody likes. Leaks cause squeaks. If there's a little air leaking out, that's what I'm talking. All right, blow softly. Now, this is not like playing a trumpet. If you blow really, really hard, it's gonna make that horrible noise that nobody likes, including your family, right? So make sure you're not blowing too hard. It requires a very little bit of air. I use the steamy window trick. Kind of like, uh, you know, all right, if it's winter out, and you're riding in the car or riding on the bus and you want to like draw pictures on the window you go and then it steams up and you can write pictures on the window that's the kind of air you want to use in your recorder like you're fogging up the window doesn't take hardly any air at all don't use birthday candle air like I, when i was blowing out my birthday candles a couple weeks ago you go if you do that, you get that horrible, horrible noise. Very little air is required. All right, so let's jump right in and do this. We're going to unbox our first note here. Do, 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 do. Your first note is B. Why don't we start at C or middle C or whatever? We're going to start on B. It's all good. Now, on the left side here is a, a happy little recorder guy. His nose is all black because his nose is the back of the recorder. So always make sure that hole is covered up on the back. And his little buttons right here are the holes on the front of your recorder. So if it's black, it means it is covered up. So the back hole is covered up and the top hole is, gonna, is covered up. We just learned that one a couple minutes ago. That is B. Whenever you see a note on that third line, that is B. All right. 
It says to start down the road playing recorder, play pitch B for each line on the road map. Play a long sound for a short, for, a, for excuse me, play a long sound for each long line and a short sound for each short line. So everybody find B again. Come on back. Come on, bring on front. All right. And follow my arrow. Long sound for the long line, short sound for the short line. S for start. One, two, ready, go. F for finish. Very nice. Next, we're going to clap each rhythm of the pattern below and then trying to play the patterns on B. So let's do that first. We're going to clap. The top pattern. One, two, ready, go. Rest. What's that note? Oh, that's right. Half rest. Cool. So now grab your recorder. Thumb on the back, top finger covering up the top hole. Now, instead of just going, I want you to instead go, like you're saying the number two. Just do it very, very softly with a little bit of air. That makes a nice crisp sound instead of going. That makes a sound kind of like. Yeah, my cats are gonna think that something is dying in here. All right, follow the arrow on the screen. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Rest. 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 Half rest. Awesome. Oop, let's go back for a second. Now let's do the bottom one. Ooh, we got some double eighth notes here. Clap it first. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Half rest. All right. That's a tricky one. We might have to try that one two times. Here we go. Thumb on the back. Top hole covered up. Make sure there's no air leaking out because leaks cause squeaks. Here we go. One, two. Oh, follow the arrow. One, two. Ready, go. I'm going to pause for a second. Are you going, or are you going, make sure you get a nice, soft, one, two. Ready, go. Rest. Rest. Half rest. Cool. All right. Let's learn a new note. Meow, 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 meow. So we learned B. Now we're going to learn A. We're just going to add one more finger to our recorder. So B is one finger. A is two fingers. All right. Step one, clap each pattern of the uh, rhythm of the pattern below, then play the patterns on A. Let's do the top one. What is that note? Oh, that's right, it's a whole note. Whole notes get how many beats? A whole lot of nachos, four beats. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Very cool. All right. We got a lot of rests in this one. And we're going to have to hold that note for the first note for four beats because it's a whole note. All right. Let's get ready to play A. Thumb on the back, finger on the front, and two fingers on the front. Here we go. One. Oh, I'll follow along with the arrow. One, two, ready, go. Rest, 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 rest. So do you see how A sounds a little bit different than B? Here was it. Here's B. Here's A. Would you try that? Play a B. Now try an A. All right, cool. If it sounds a little squeaky, keep practicing. That's the only way you're going to get better. 
Bottom rhythm. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. All right, let's do it. Finger on the back. One finger on the front for B, two for A. Follow along. One, two, ready, go. Best, best. Oh, did you play? <laughs> Here we go. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. Cool. All right. We're going to practice playing each of these patterns in the boxes below. Let's, no, we're not going to do all of them at the same time. Let's do one of them. Would you play the red box? One, two, ready, go. You should have played B, B, B. Thumb on the back, top finger covering the top hole. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Awesome. Let's switch to A, A, A. Thumb on the back, top finger for B, two fingers for A. One, two, ready, go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Cool. Now let's put them both together with a space in between. Imagine there's a little rest there. One, two, red, then blue. One, two, ready, go. Remember to add two fingers for A. Do it again. One, two, ready, go. Very cool. Let's do something a little harder. Let's go B, B, A. B, B, A. So you're going to go one, one, two. One finger, one finger, two fingers. One finger, one finger, two fingers. One, two, ready, go. One more time, ready, go. Cool. Let's go backwards. A, A, B. So you're going to go two fingers, two fingers, one finger. Two fingers, two fingers, one finger. One, two, ready, go. Again. One, two, ready, go. Cool. And let's put them together. B, B, A. A, A, B. Again, imagine there's a little rest in between those two boxes. One, two, ready, go. Not bad. Let's do it one more time. Yellow, then green. One, two, ready, go. All right, let's do all four. Let's pretend there's a little space in between each one. So take a little rest. Take a little a breath between each one. Here we go. One, two. Red, yellow, blue, and green. One, two, ready, go. Very cool. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Awesome. Can you do it? blindfolded. No, you really don't have to get blindfolded. I'll just put a blindfold on. There, there you go. It's your blindfold. Cool. All right. Can you do it? Oh, shoot. What was the yellow one? I don't know if I remember. I wish I could have a quick peek. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Did you get it? I'll let you peek one more second. All right, here we go. One, two, blindfolds on. One, two, ready, go. Very cool. All right, guys, it is time for a song, but tell you what, I'm going to stop the video right there just in case you want to go back and watch something again. And when you are ready, uh, click on the next video, which it will be our song for the end of lesson one. I'll see you in just a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody.